What's up everybody, it's Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at some cryptocurrency snooze headlines that are making the rounds. Is Bitcoin getting postured up for another bullish month in April? How about the NFT sector? Let's get into the video. Interesting headline here from Coindesk regarding Tether. Tether takes step towards transparency with first accounting firm report card. The report is similar to those produced by other stablecoin issuers like Center and Paxos. Well, a baby step nonetheless. Tether, the world's largest stablecoin issuer, published an attestation on Tuesday verifying that it had $35 billion in assets backing a similar amount of its USDT tokens last month. So, a, a step in the right direction. I mean, Tether's been a debacle in the cryptocurrency space for quite some time. Back in 2017, 2018, people were speculating that it was the reason why Bitcoin was pumping. Others were speculating that Tether was going to explode and take the whole cryptocurrency market into the toilet. Let me know what your thoughts are on Tether in the comments down below. Next up, an interesting headline from Coindesk, and it seems to be another win for the traders. CME announces launch of micro Bitcoin futures in May. CME's micro futures contracts will provide institutions and individual traders one more tool to hedge their spot market risks. Derivatives Exchange, CME will launch smaller size Bitcoin futures contracts in May, potentially expanding the number of people who bet on the future price of the leading cryptocurrency. Well, more interest from the traditional world, the better, and it's just another vessel to speculate upon the price of the almighty Bitcoin. And another headline coming out of Coindesk here, and it's a win for the NFT sector, as Michael Jordan joins 305 million investment in firm behind NBA Top Shot. Dapper Labs' buzzy NFT platform has generated over 500 million in sales since launch. And I gotta say, Michael Jordan's looking pretty stoked about this. That, or it's just simply the face he makes when he farts. Dapper Labs announced 305 million <laughs> funding round Tuesday from another batch of NBA stars and venture capital firm backing its runaway hit NBA Top Shot. Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan, the investment firm KOTU, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, and a deep bench of 30 athletes plus the rapper 2 Chains have piled into the non-fungible token NFT firm, the startup said. Citing a person with knowledge of the situation, USA Today... USA Today, not yesterday, reported the funding round places Dapper's current valuation at $2.6 billion. Interesting. And here we have an interesting headline coming out of Cointelegraph. Bitcoin market cap exceeds Canada's M1 money supply once again. The Bitcoin market capitalization is once again sufficient to cover the M1 money supply of either Australia or Canada. Another day of gains for Bitcoin BTC has seen the price of the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization go beyond the 1.1 trillion mark. 1.105 trillion to be precise. This market capitalization growth now means that Bitcoin's market size has surpassed Canada's M1 money supply, which stands at 1.104 trillion, according to data from CEIC. Well, Bitcoin just continues to surge on and it looks to be setting up for another bullish month in April. And another headline for the NFT sector, as Consensus announces Layer 2 NFT platform Palm to compete with Flow. The Ethereum ecosystem and some outside power players are banding together to give Flow a run for its money. With a possible billion-dollar non-fungible token drop and high-powered multi-project collaboration in the works, the Ethereum ecosystem may finally be ready to compete with the NFT-centric blockchain flow. Well, we'll see about that because uh, a lot of people still complaining about those high gas fees. So interesting, though. Interesting to see a little bit of innovation underway. And there you have it, some cryptocurrency news headlines in a nutshell. I'll be sure to leave all the links in the description down below so that you can take a closer look. Thanks for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourselves a powerful day.